Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about primary health care. This is a concise presentation for medical students. The concept of primary health care came into existence in 1978. It was decided at the international conference which took place at Alma Atta in USSR. To be precise, it is situated in Kazakhstan. The ultimate goal of primary health care is better health for all. Primary health care is essential health care made universally accessible to individuals and acceptable to them through their full participation and at a cost the community and country can afford. This is the definition of primary health care. The concept of primary health care was accepted by almost all countries. It was thought to be the key to attainment of health for all by the year 2000. Now let us see about the elements of primary health care. Primary health care has eight elements. Education concerning prevailing health problems and the methods of preventing and controlling them. Promotion of food supply and proper nutrition. An adequate supply of safe water and basic sanitation. Maternal and child health care, including family planning. Immunization against major infectious diseases. Prevention and control of locally endemic diseases. Appropriate treatment of common diseases and injuries. And provision of essential drugs. The words that are in bold and underlined are the keywords. An easy way to remember the keywords of the elements of primary health care is to remember the word endemics. E stands for education, N stands for nutrition, D stands for drugs, E stands for endemic diseases, M stands for maternal and child health, I stands for immunization, C stands for common diseases and S stands for safe water and sanitation. So if you remember the word endemics, you can easily remember the elements of primary health care. Now let us see about the principles of primary health care. There are four principles. They are equitable distribution, community participation, intersectoral coordination and appropriate technology. Now let us see about each principle in detail. Equitable distribution. Equitable distribution means health services must be shared equally by all people irrespective of their ability to pay. That is all people must have access to health services. Right now, health services are mainly concentrated in the major towns and cities, resulting in inequality of care to the people in rural areas. So, primary health care aims to correct this imbalance by shifting the center of gravity of the health care system from cities to rural areas. Now, let us see about community participation. The involvement of individuals, families and communities in promotion of their own health and welfare is very important. There must be a continuing effort to secure meaningful involvement of the community in the planning, implementation and maintenance of health services. There should be maximum reliance on local resources like manpower, money and materials. An example for community participation is use of village health guides and trained dice. They are selected by the local community and they are trained locally. By this way, they overcome cultural and communication barriers. That is, they provide primary health care in a way that is acceptable to the community. Other examples are Asha and Anganwadi workers in India. Barefoot doctors is a concept that originated in China. It is also a very good example for community participation. Now let us see about intersectoral coordination. The components of primary health care cannot be provided by the health sector alone. So there should be coordination between health sector and all related sectors and aspects of national and community development. Sectors like agriculture, animal husbandry, food, industry, education, housing, public works and communication should coordinate with health sector for providing primary health care. There should be planning with other sectors to avoid unnecessary duplication of activities. Now let us see about appropriate technology. What does the word appropriate mean? The technology should be scientifically sound, it should be adaptable to local needs and it should be acceptable to those who apply it and those for whom it is used and it should be maintained by the people themselves. An example for appropriate technology is oral radiation fluid. Remember that large luxurious hospitals that are totally inappropriate to the local needs should be avoided. Thank you.